Okay. Now, before we do anything... Wrong button. No, no, no. Okay. Um, hang on. I have to try something here. I'm trying out a couple different options. Okay, never mind. No, that's that's fine. We'll we'll just play as is. Okay, welcome back to the le leg end of Zelda Ocarina of Time 4K. And why not? Why shouldn't I? Um I guess I kind of wanted to do this part of the game live because it is one of my favorite parts. And you'll see. You'll see where we're at. Now, I know that some people aren't into the crusty crispiness of these graphics. Um, and I, I can see that in a couple spots, but I like this overall. I'm actually enjoying the graphics. Now, I don't think it's better than what Nintendo could do if they were to do something with it. Because, you know, they could they could do it from scratch, and they could make it awesome, but I don't know. They're not doing that. I know. Yeah, I had to uh, load Steam. Oh boy, um, that looks worse than before, even. Um, th that rupee... Oh, that is, that is some fucking primo crust. That's not too bad, actually. The rupees look alright-ish. Let me just fix this up a little bit, because I, I got this looking even better in OBS. And, uh, in XSplit, it's gonna look a little bit blurrier, sorry. Uh, this is the best solution we have to a particularly bizarre problem. It's not too bad. I mean, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's what it, it's what it is, friends. That'll do. Vinny, magic meter? Um... Do, do you, you, do you really want to taste it? Do you want to, do you really want to taste it? No, I can't do that. That's a song. It's a good song. Yeah, it's gonna look bad. Just get immersed in the world of Zelda. Look how immersive it is. Each texture is so dense. Your informations are limited to health and rupees. Everything else I will tell you. I will tell you of. I have full magic and I'll keep you updated every step of the way. He, the textures are plump. Plumpy. Like a nice, plumpy, uh, big, plumpy one. I have no quarrel with you, he had. Magic update, I now have full magic before I was missing a sliver.
No, 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 I got this. The ocarina is disturbingly flesh-colored. What kind of flesh is that shiny? Are you collecting spiritual stones? You have one more to find? You mean the spiritual stone of water, don't you? Great Deku Tree once told me that King Zora, ruler of Zora's domain, has it. Now, for those that missed the last one, I completed Dodongo's Cavern. And, um... And I got some, uh, heart pieces. And then we went to Zora's domain. And then I opened the- I, I opened the shortcut to Zora's domain. Which I guess the Lost Woods has one, too. But we're gonna go to Lake Hylia from here. Walk backwards to enable speedrun. <laughs> No, we're, we're going- we're going to Lake Hylia, not Zora's- um, yeah, we're going Lake Hylia, which is- Which is... This way. It's great that I finally figured out the gyro controls. Everything's all... Gyroed up. Everything's working. Just a gaggle of funny bones. That's really all they are. Luke Skywalker flesh colored lightsaber. It's just a, just a search. No, no, it's, it's the Shy Guy's spear. That's all it is. No, we don't need a uh, Luke Skywalker flesh-colored lightsaber emote. Twitch wouldn't approve it. I really don't think they would approve something like that. But then again, I'm- I'm not really the biggest earner for Twitch anymore, so maybe- maybe they don't care. Maybe they care too much now, I don't know. Oh, by the way, check out the new emote in chat. Yeah. This is the most- now this is the most specific emote we have. Some things weren't meant for 4K. What? Come on. You didn't want to see the eye crust? And the... To tooth decay? Um... Well, the game crashed. Just, wow. Just absolutely amazing. Well, now that emote means something completely different. <sighs> Fucking hell. Can't believe we got sprunked. We got sprunked by the lakeside. Old man. We got sprunked by the lake old. That's the new grapple the leaper. Sprunked by the lake old. Well, I restarted it, and I think it's gonna work. It just has to reload the textures again. For fuck's sake! Vinny, wait until this happens when you're playing, when you don't save after an hour. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to save as much as possible. Is 
tell us the fruit tier list. You know what? Why not? Fruit tier list, since it's an idea that's been done so many times, um, uh, pineapple, banana, strawberry are my, my S tier. And uh, I don't remember all the other fruits. So that's the spoiler. I guess kiwi would be A tier. And various other berries. Peaches are fine. Don't... Tomato. Get out of here. Watermelon is A tier. But it's got to be like a nice hot day. Like the... Watermelon is great. It, um, contextually, I feel. And I don't mean fake watermelon flavor, which is its own flavor. I mean real watermelon. Is this dude going to keep staring at my um, ding dong with his crusty eyes? Oh, good. What's happening? What's happening? Why do I, why is Steam doing this again? Oh my god. <laughs> it just started playing on its own! Oh my god, I had that up in a tab on Firefox, and it just started fucking playing on its own. Well, we have to wait another couple minutes. I am so sorry. What a heavy load. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put them in D tier because I'm allergic. Okay. So I'm gonna say I like orange. The problem with orange is it's kind of like a door hinge. Um, the problem with orange is I love it. The flavor is delicious, but it's a pain in the ass to eat, and there's a lot of weird fleshy bits. But I, I love orange. Uh, drink. I love orange aid. Love the flavor, but it can be annoying. Same for coconut. I want to like coconut so much more. Fake coconut, pina colada, I love it. But you, you chew into it, and you're just chewing, and you keep chewing, and you're chewing more. Uh, it's unfortunate because you think it's going to be so much better than it is, and it's just not great. But I'm not allergic to it. However, coconut-related drinks are quite quite nice. Uh, pineapple, uh, that goes up there. Plums, I like a, I like a plum. Love lemon, love lime, love the flavors. You don't eat them, but you cook with them. And I just, I like limeade, I like lemonade a lot. Those are A tier. Cherry, you know, there's fake cherry. There's the, um, the cherries, in the red cherries in the jar that you put on ice cream which are very sweet, but then regular cherries, depending on which ones you get, can also be pretty amazing. Um, so I'm gonna have a cherry up there. I like cantaloupe well enough. Most melon I'm gonna put B tier. Same for honeydew, that's fine. Strawberry goes up there. I don't even know if I've ever had a fucking star fruit. Watermelon, A tier. Um, I'm gonna put peach in B tier. What? What's a gooseberry? I'm sorry. Grapefruit? You can use it to grapefruit your mans, but I don't know about... I don't know about... that being in any higher than C. It's just a little too bitter. Kiwi, I'm gonna put... probably... A tier. Same for Tangerine. Also a good Led Zeppelin song. Blood Orange... is a little lesser to orange. Um, is this thing loaded yet? 
it's it's going. Just uh, give me a second here. All right. Um, pears are fine. They're not any. They're not. I don't love them, but I don't hate them. They're kind of just in the middle. They're they're just kind of in the middle for me. Raisins, you know, all right. They're you know raisinets are cool. Put chocolate on them, they go to a B. They're C, as far as I'm concerned. Um, grapes, I like, but I don't like the fleshy parts. The problem is they get very like the, the flesh of the raisin kind of gets stuck in uh, of the grapes gets stuck in your like uh, the the flesh, the skin. Yes, the skin of the grape. What kind of grapes am I eating? I don't know, but you can do surgery on them, so that's that's cool. Blackberry, I'm gonna give B tier. Cranberry, I like the juice more than I like the fruit. Nectarine is fine. I'm running out of space here. Like, what's a mulberry? The fuck is a rambutan? Mangosteen? What? Richard Simmons, passion fruit. I don't know, maybe passion fruit's okay. Don't remember what it tastes like. Blueberry, it's probably A tier. Um, I don't like avocados. I, you can, I like guacamole, I like things with avocado, but I don't, I don't really like avocados on their own, and I won't eat it on toast. I, that's, I'm not like from California, bruh. I'll, you know what, I'll increase the avocado to B tier just because I do like guac so much. But I don't like it on its own. Wrong and bad. You know, for some people, it just tastes not as as good. Pomegranate is weird and it makes me feel weird. So I don't- I'm not gonna put that on there. But I don't actually... This guy's opinion is wrong and bad. Uh, mango is pretty good. A, a date? Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really remember what a date tastes like. Apricot? Don't remember. Raspberry, A tier. Try to finish this up. Kumquat, funny name, C tier. Don't even remember what it tastes like. Jackfruit, whatever. Durian, I don't know. That gooseberry, fig. I don't, well, figs are okay, I guess. Um, but they're not. Eh, 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 I don't remember. Um, Asian pear, guava, uh, ground cherry. There's a lot of lychee. Right, well, lychee makes good. There's good Kit Kats, right? But. And, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of fruits I haven't eaten. There you go, fruit tier list, done. Three have made it to the top. Now, grant- Lychee. Now, granted, this is a tier list that I did very, very, very quickly. And I haven't had some of these fruits in years or ever. I'm sorry. This is the best I could do without going to the supermarket and trying to get some fruit. But I, I think I win the, the speed run. Even if this tier list is shit tier opinions, it's the fastest fruit tier list in all the West. Can I take the shortcut? <sighs> it, no, I mean like, do I have the ability to take the shortcut at this point? You have the earring, right? Yeah, I can dive. Or the scale, rather. I have the scale. Hey. No. Did you get the bottle at the lake? Yeah. I'm telling you, listen. Unfortunately, these tech problems... That was very unexpected. That has not happened to me yet, that crash. Then again, I didn't look at that man's eye crust that close. Hey. 
so... I mean, it's Zora's river. Good enough. Nothing to even save. So now we're at Zora's Domain. And... I basically, if you missed the last video I did of this, the, the last playthrough, the, bla the last play session, the last Jedi, what you missed was me um, getting the bottle, doing some of the side stuff here, and now the best moment of the game is upon us. Okay, so he's worried about Rudo. Rudo is his fish daughter. Here's a letter. Oh, this letter, it's from Princess Rudo. Hmm, let's see, she's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Rudo. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear, of course. You'll go find Rudo. You can pass through here, to, al to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter, you keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Rudo immediately. Weep. 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 Take your time. We got all day. No hurry. Just rub them balls all over the path. Ancient meme about all the water in Hyrule passing through King Zora's butthole. That's how you get it good. That's how it's... otherwise it's not gonna be as good. You mean his Nifkin. Oh yeah, the nifty piece of skin. The Nifkin. It's the nifty piece of skin between the, uh, the, the, the places. That is a thing you can do. You can have a butterfly land on the Deku stick, and I think it gives you a fairy, but... Like, I probably did it uh, when I was a kid, and now I just give up every time I try. Someone said the actual name of Zora's domain is Zora's Bidet. Don't crash the game. Welcome, Link. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. It's 
someone please remind me at the end of my session today to go to the old man by Lake Hylia and try to crash the game on purpose. Anyway, that's a warp point. Only in dungeons. There's not really the most amazing magic in this game. Just a couple little spells. It's, it's nothing like the beta version that I played where, you know, the medallions each have like a... a findle. It's useful, it's good, but it's not, you know, it's not exactly, um, a Final Fantasy magic. Oh, also, interesting thing I wanted to uh, bring up while I'm playing the game is there was some, like, guide for this game. I was linked these wonderful images about... Here, look. This is relevant. Rudo will hand over the Zora Sapphire after you collect your heart container and warp out of the dungeon, but not before she tricks you into committing to marry her. It's tempting, I suppose. She is kinda cute. And I like a bit of haughtiness in my princesses. Zelda needs to work on that. But I've always had this thing about girls with two extra eyes on the top of their heads. So, um, I think I'll pass. Pocket the sapphire and go see two-eyed Princess Zelda instead. This is real from the late 90s. Versus Books Guide. That's what it's from. Here you go, here's another one. Now that you have bombs to use, Goron City is suddenly looking a whole lot more interesting. A heart piece, a bigger bomb bag, a gold sculptula, and another chance to see Darunia's wild, sexy dance are the highlights of your heroic turn to Goron City. What? Who, who wrote this? Feel the beat. Hey, I know you don't really give a crap about all the heart pieces and bomb bags and sculptulas. All you really want is to walk up to Big Brother Darunia and say, Dance for me, baby. <laughs> your deepest, huskiest, Patrick Swayzeist voice. Well, here's your opportunity to play Saria's song and see an encore performance of Darunia's sexy, captivating, magical dance. You know you want it. Apparently all real! Apparently all real, and I have now received- someone in chat said I have taken psychic damage. Me too. Oh, God. So, the, J the teeth are JPEGs. Let them cut a corner. It's a small indie company. Someone said something in chat. I got this guide when it first came out. As a kid, I remember reading this shit. I thought you said it was a prelude to sin. Like, I was reading what you said very quickly and it was scrolling up, and I thought you said it was a, a prelude to sin, and I was gonna say... Did that, like, ruin you? Anyway, here's a weird dungeon, for those who have never seen this game. Are, are, okay, uh, quick... Quick question. Uh, maybe we can get a poll going, but has... Is there anyone here who's actually never seen or played Ocarina of Time? There seems to be... A number of people. Anyway, you gotta hit the uvula. 
with your slingshot, and you can open doors that way. Someone said I've never played any Nintendo game. Hmm. I believe that. I mean, there are people that just didn't grow up with Nintendo. This guy is bested! I like to make console war! 2022 console war! This company pays my bills, console war! Nintendo is for babies, console war! I like to watch Vinny go into the fish, console war! Rossi doors. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just think, everybody, if I have if I didn't play this live, we would have never heard the phrase thrusty door. M maybe it's okay that I do a lot of this non-live. No, this guy bastard. He said the trussy word. He's pronounced trussy. Uh, magic update. I have most of my magic. Also, I watched the rest of Smiling Friends. I think there might still be an episode or two I haven't seen, but... Um, I, I really like that show. I like when Satan was playing Rust. What was the name of the fake movie in, in the world of, of the... ...of the show? There was like a fake movie. That was the last episode currently aired. There's one I haven't seen. There's still one I haven't seen. Yeah, I've seen seven of eight episodes. Satan was voiced by James Rolfe. Are you serious? That's- that's fucking- I had no idea. Vinny, that wasn't him. Yes, no. It's not true, is rumor. It was Zach Hadel. It- you know, okay. Satan sounded a lot like the voice actor of, uh, what's his name? Charlie? So, Zach. Also, does Zach deliver those lines with, like, goop? in his mouth, on purpose. Oh. Because it fits the character perfectly. It's like... Oh god. It's so fucking perfect. I love the voice acting for this show, and they keep, like... They can deliver lines at a hundred miles a second. That makes no sense whatsoever, but I just- I'm like, I'm watching this show, I'm like, God damn, I'm absorbing this information and they're delivering it so quickly. Yeah, I- I, uh, I really love that show. I gotta be honest. I thought it was gonna be a little too insane for me. And it's- no, it's, it's exactly my kind of show. Did you watch the episode with the Hobbit? Yeah, I like that little fella. I like the ex the goo explosion of the Hobbit fella too. Mip, yeah. Last, uh, James, Rolf, and Mike's the closet converge path. Yeah, well, I like in in the one episode where Charlie goes to hell. They have a, um, like a, a stock footage compilation for a second, and like, Mike Stoklaza shows up screaming for just like, half a second. It's perfect. You? Who are you? I am Rudo, Princess of the Zoras. What? Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Letter in a bottle? I have no idea what you're talking about. My father's worried about me? I don't care. 
Anyway, I can't go home right now, and you... Get out of here, understand? Smart. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly since I was little, but... Lord Jabu Jabu is very strange today. There are electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. Uh, on top- God damn it, I should have did this part not live. On top of that, my precious stone was- But that's none of your business. Anyway, you, go home now, understand? You're that worried about me? Okay, then I will give you the honor of carrying me. However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You'd better believe me. Vomit, now! I skipped the- I still haven't seen- there's one episode I haven't seen with the frog. Because on the Plex I was watching it on, it was misnamed. All the episodes were misnamed and there was only seven of them. So I saw that there was a frog episode, but I didn't see the frog episode. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. I- I would love to do a voice, even if it's just like a little scum character, like a little worm that gets stepped on and dies and just goes Bleh! Like, I would- I'd be so happy if I could do a little voice of, like, a little worm. Like, just a, like a little worm fella. Um... Red frog. funnier character than we've ever had. I think I just killed Princess Rudo. Shouldn't we be heading towards Princess Rudo? I guess so, Navi. Where, where, where is she? <laughs> Vinny, you did, did you not see her? Oh. I'm probably gonna need her for this. She was in the basement where you left her. Vinny, rupee icon is cut off. Yeah. Down in a hole. Losing my soul. this game a thousand times, by the way. A thousand times. Uh... I'm not really sure where to go right now. Um... Do I just have to, like, throw her up? Here? Yeah, I think I have to throw her up there. Okay, I'm, I'm a dumbass. Yeah. Hey, look! 20-something years later, and the puzzles in Ocarina of Time are still so clever that they confuse me, a fool. Hey. 
Foo Fighters! You see the Foo Fighters are making a movie? It's like a horror movie. Listen, I like Dave Grohl. I, I think he's, he's fine. It's just... I don't know, man. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters! I haven't really had a whole lot of interest in any of their recent music. But, you know, I do like Dave Grohl and Pat and Taylor and everyone, so I'll probably watch it. Even though, like, their whole shtick of, like, just the whole shtick of the band is very... It's very basic. I, I mean that... Because that's kind of... Their music just has that vibe for me these days. And I love those first couple albums so much. But, um... Yeah, I mean, I'll watch the movie. Though, to be fair, they are, like, one of the biggest rock bands around right now, and also one of the only rock bands around right now, so... They're carrying the torch to a degree, and I'm fine with that. We know, Nevi. They play modern dad rock. I mean, so do I. <laughs> What about Chili Peppers? Well, Frashanti's coming back. At the very least, that's something. Ah! I never tried that before. Been showing my friends visions, they all unironically have loved it. I'm beginning to think that I paid every chat member. And I just don't remember. Anthony is still singing random words and sentences as his lyrics, though. Lot of beater, gonna find a reader, gotta gotta rear in the rocks of Costa Rica. I said my baby was a going insane tonight. She makes me go insane. I like those lyrics. Come on. Give him a break, Anthony Kiedens. He he's he's had a hard life. <laughs> California, going to California, going to California, going to California. <laughs> The, the floor... It's the, the floor moves. It's a, it's like a conveyor. Did... did I...? I keep remembering incorrectly that I have to throw Rudo... ...to, to destroy those things. That's not the case at all. It's a shame I don't have a magic spell to recall Rudo to my position. Um... I... I... Ugh, man. Yeah. Well, I like the Twilight Princess version of the boomerang, too. I think Wind Waker did a great job with this boomerang. But, um... I thought the Twilight Princess one was cool. I'm a Twilight Princess fan. Like, I was watching a, a video that had... that ranked all the Zelda games, and Twilight Princess was very low, and they ended the video with Midna deserved better, and I'm like, no. Like, that game is actually pretty good. Every TP dungeon is the same. No. A little bit. It's not... This is not the best opinion! I, 
I think um, Twilight Princess is very Zelda by numbers, but it's... I don't know, I have a lot of fun with it. I like... When I replayed it on the Wii U, the HD version, I liked it even more the, the, the second time. Then you gotta do a Zelda tier list then, didn't I? I think I did, a while back. I don't remember where I put Twilight Princess, but... I'll tell you what, it's not Toilet Princess. It's hard for me to articulate what I like about Twilight Princess, though there are many in chat who can articulate why they don't like it as much. But I would say I like the dungeons having different vibes. Like, I love the Sky Dungeon with the double claw shots. I love the Ice Dungeon. It's just completely different than most Zelda dungeons. And I like... The, the Ball and Chain is a great item, even though it's just totally pointless. Other than, you can break stuff! It's fun. The spinner's the same. Unfortunately, the spinner is kinda... The, the spinner's kinda only used in, like, a couple situations. Red slimy thing is gone. Yep. Um, but the dungeon it's in is cool. I, I like the more combat-focused dungeons anyway. And the game definitely has a good feel to it. Like, I enjoy, like, actually fighting in that game. But, no, it's not perfect, and some of the overworld can be... It's it's a fairly linear game, and the overworld doesn't feel anywhere near as expansive as... Um, Wind Waker's. Though you do spend less time... Just, like, looking at Blue Ocean. Wind Waker, I like more than Twilight Princess, but I think that some of the, the time sailing in Wind Waker can be a little too... It's like, just, it goes on for a while. But I like Wind Waker's aesthetic more, I like its story more, I like the world more, I like the whimsical kind of animations more. There's a lot of things that I like better about Wind Waker, but I still think Twilight Princess is a perfect companion piece. It's like those two games... You know, there's more dungeons in Twilight Princess. There's more... There's more combat options. Though you can't pick up random enemies' weapons. Magic update, magic is max. Does this include Master Quest? Um, last time I played this, I played Master Quest. But the 3DS version uh, has Master Quest on the game cartridge. This room is particularly disgusting looking. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of TP's Somehow Palpatine Returned? Shoehorned. Shoehorned for sure. You know what's cool about this, though? Bruce Willis actually volunteered to be the prostate that they filmed uh, as reference for this part of the game. Anyway, I was, as I was saying, I feel like... Um, there's some story stuff. I wish they would... I wish Zelda was a little bit more... ...adventurous with letting a villain be the final villain, and not having the somehow Palpatine return moment in so many of them. Yeah. 
Well, Majora is great. That's why I love Majora so much. It's it's. I love the villain. I love the 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 way that that game took risks and wasn't just awkward enough time too. And most games still I like, but like story is never really why I play Zelda games. Like a little bit, I like some of the storyline. But I think for me, world and character investment in Zelda is even more important. And Majora has that times ten, whereas Ocarina just does the classic Zelda thing with some twists. And I love the time travel mechanic, and I love the themes of adulthood. So, there's a lot going for this one. It's just... They did it so great, so early on. In, in my opinion. Um, I think... I think we can go down this way. Oh shit. How do you like the Oracle games? I've, uh, streamed those. They are not my favorite Zelda games, but there's n really not anything I dislike about them. Like... I think they're solid all around. I don't- I don't think there's anything that I sit there, I'm like, eh, fuck this game. Like, I enjoy playing them. Minish Cap, yeah. Played- I mean, I've played all of them. The only Zelda game I haven't finished, I- I didn't play Link's Crossbow Training, which one day I will actually, like, fucking play that. But, uh, Minish Cap is great. And, um... I'm looking on the map right now, I think... Um, I just haven't played Spirit Tracks to completion. That's the only Zelda game in the main line. So... But I'm sure a lot of people have heard me talk about this stuff a lot. Because every time I play a Zelda game, it comes up. I just so happen to be a Zelda-only streamer. Because I enjoy the series so much. You're the Zelda 2 streamer. Well, at some point, I might be the Zelda 1 streamer, because Zelda 1... ...has world randomization... ...that looks awesome now. Yeah, I generated a couple just to check it out, and they generate maps as well. And I was blown away by how cool it was. And there's even a couple unique features to the randomizer, like a, like an actual village. But it mostly just feels like a brand new quest in Zelda 1. That's it. That's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there, onto the platform. A lot of throwing up on tonight's stream. Princess Rudo got the spiritual stone. But why Princess Rudo? Oh my goodness, I finally found my mother's stone. I got very upset when Lord Jabu Jabu swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised, I, I dropped it inside. But now that I found it, I don't need to be here anymore. So take me home right now. Why are there internal hairs inside this fish thing? Kia, what is this, an octopus? Vinny, you have them too, Cilier. Can you, like, wax your internal hair?
Wow, this is exactly how I caught an artillery the other day. Oh god, please. Oh, the shield doesn't work. What part of the body contains the spinning spiky platform? Oh, the Cletus. I think I saw Steve O's Cletus today while I was watching that Jackass movie. I really like the Jackass movie. It, listen, it was... They're old. But it was like hanging out with old dumbass friends again. Some of the new cast members were good. Zack in particular, Poopies. Um, the, the Scorpion lip bite was amazing. Um, Johnny got hit by a bull. Brain damage. <laughs> good job. But, no, I mean, it was, to me, it was almost as good as anything they've ever done. And the MVP of the movie was Aaron. Danger Aaron. They gave him some of the most fucked up shit to do. And he did it. And he was... He was amazing. He was amazing. Eric Andre just made, a, like, a cameo appearance. Yeah, Rip Ryan done. I mean, and Bam kind of went off the deep end. And I th at last I heard he's getting help. But... Yeah, I don't know the full story, but it didn't seem good. Um, Pontius was, like, funnier. It was a funnier Pontius than we've ever had. Um, and I've seen... I saw more dicks today than I ever saw in my life. In such a short span of time. Like, flattened dicks? Godzilla dicks? Just dick dicks? No context? In the movie Jackass Forever. In the movie Jackass Forever. You gotta be dumb, you gotta be tough. Which Link do you think would absolutely murder the other Link? What Link do you think is the strongest? You know what? Zeltek has a video of that exact thing. <laughs> like, which Link is the strongest? I forget which one won the competition. But I, I, I watched it a while back, and it was good. Great! I'll grab my stuff! That one. Hero of Time and Link to the Past tied. Well, there you go. I don't remember the reasoning. I thought Twilight Princess Link would probably end up being the strongest, just in in terms of pure combat, but I think the video had some good reasoning about, like, different abilities and what they were able to, like, survive. How cool would it be to have us into the Zelda-verse, like Spider-verse? Where none of the links speak, they just look at each other and, like, then just go through the portal, and that's the end of that. I guess it's called Hyrule Warriors. 
they want to do a Star Wars Hyrule Warriors, and you know what? Or, you know what I mean? Like, uh, a Muso. Musu? Mupu? Mupu Gumblupu. Um, I would... I would play that in a heartbeat. I mean, I'm still waiting for LEGO Star Wars to come out, because that game looks fucking dope. But, I would play a Muso Star Wars game, and, and they want to do their other dream one is a Mario one. Dope. Do it. Fucking do it. I would love a Mario version of that. There's so many different types of characters, there's like... You know, what about like, Mega Mushroom Mario just stomping... Stomping through enemies like someone naked on someone's train set to get imitation crab meat. What- what would that be like? But I wouldn't mind seeing multiplayer Zelda come back, too. Another Four Swords with good online and rollback. Remember when Nintendo made a Four Swords available on the DS? It was the DSi, I think. And it was actually pretty good, but then they removed it forever. Vinny, that was a port. No, it had its own content. If I'm not mistaken, they even, like, updated it with, like... Um, NES and GBA Four Swords areas. It was like a free anniversary thing, yeah. But I would pay like 10 bucks to get that back. It was 3DS? Anyway, let me try to pay attention to this fight because these jellyfish are, are wilding. Is that what they say? It was 3DS and DSi. Okay. Three SI. CSI Miami. Did you like Triforce Heroes? I, I didn't play it. I think I played the demo of it. And that was the end of that. So I guess that's another Zelda game I haven't really played. Luckily, um, you don't take a whole lot of damage from all this stuff. I would never really classify Ocarina of Time as a difficult game. What even is that thing? A... A... Rogue Lung? Advanced Parasite. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just, just a little. Hyrule has been destroyed, unknowingly, because Link wasn't able to save Hyrule anymore. Link is now dead. You- you looked cool, cooler than I thought you would anyway. Just a little! 
Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. Well, nothing, really. Haha, <laughs> don't be shy. I can tell what you're thinking. My mother gave it to me and said I should give it to only the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora Engagement Ring. Alright, I'll give you my most precious possession. Zora's Sapphire. Mono, just ban them. Just, just, ba just take mental notes, take notes, and then just ban one after another. Go on a fucking spree. Oh, now you're sorry. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Says someone in chat. Oh no, I didn't mean it because everyone else was taping it, so I get to type it too. Oh, but then the streamer notices that I'm about to get perma banned in the chat room for being a fucking weirdo. You obtained Zora Sapphire. This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession. You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back and see Princess Zelda. Don't tell my father. Purple, barkler, barkler. Purple, barkler. Even imitating a, and doing my terrible version of a Scottish accent, I can't say purple burglar alarm. I can't do it. Has the old man also become the symbol of save the game? Did my most precious possession help you in your quest? Hee <laughs> hee. I want to talk to this dude. Sir, your most glorious of ball water has helped me in my quest. Most bodacious ball water, King Zora! Excellent! Oh, Link, so you saved the princess, eh? I really appreciate it. That's it? You're not going to give me a reward? I don't want to play your shitty game. You got a precious one-of-a-kind gem, what more do you want? I don't know, several more? 20 rupees would be fine. I, I fear that building now. I'm not going anywhere near that building. Chat thought I was going to say NFT. I saved. Don't worry. Someone said NFT stands for non-functioning testicles. I, again, I hate to keep bringing up the Jackass movie, but... Have you ever seen someone take a pogo stick to the nuts? You gotta be dumb, you gotta be tough. Are there any hair metal bands that have ever, like, said, take a ride on the pogo stick? That sounds like a hair metal line. Take a ride 
on the pogo stick. I'm not talking about my... Steel Panther, probably. System of a Down. Oh, okay. In old times, I heard there were many wild rabbits in the land of Hyrule. Not anymore, though, because of excessive hunting. I want to become a rabbit. Listen to the wind with those ears, hop across the ground with those legs. Oh, no. Even if I could only pretend. So you, you want to wear a, a rabbit mask. This dude just sitting there, and there's skeletons popping out of the ground. I guess he's used to it, like he does this every day. Did you give the mask to that guard? Uh... I don't remember. Just in time. This dude rode into town all on his own. There's no army. It's just Cronando. Ugh, I lost her. You, over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. So, you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. <laughs> you want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. I wish I had a pitch shifter. Like, available. Without having to put effort into it. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you are dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. dive. Do you think the 3DS version ever ruins the atmosphere in moments like that? Yeah, maybe a little bit. There might be some lighting stuff, but in some in some places maybe, but truthfully, I I think it improves it in more ways than than it doesn't because the, the N64 version is very foggy and blurry. Well, it was on my TV back in the day. Link, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. 
At least I could leave you the ocarina and this melody. It's highly in magic. It's also highly unusual. I'm obligated to drop at least one highly unusual line per Zelda stream. You've learned the Song of Time. Now, Link, play this melody in front of the altar at the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Navi had caffeine. Vinny, I didn't know the drunk virus episode of TNG was the second goddamn one. I always found that to be weird, but yeah. Yeah, it's the second episode. You're just starting to get to know these characters. And it's like, not now, Doctor! Ha 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 ha! And everyone gets, like, a horny virus. That's weird. Anyway, uh, here's a dying soldier that you might have missed your first couple playthroughs of this game. Only available to talk to now. Like, after you collect the spiritual stones, before you go to the Temple of Time. Uh, are you the boy from the forest? I finally met you. I have something to, to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's attendant, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but... The princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the Temple of Time. He's not moving anymore. That's it, like, there, this is totally optional. You don't get anything from this, you just get some extra information and then the dude dies. So yeah. Nintendo always has this, a couple, and worse than that, but they always kind of have a couple unexpected moments. You know, like, things are pretty whimsical and for like all ages. And then there's always a couple little things in their games that's like, wait, really? You, that? That? Oh. Anyway, I have to put the whole world saving thing on hold for a minute. You want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret, but I can't tell you until you've paid to play! God, I had a method for this. Ugh. There is... There is some easy cheese here. I don't remember what it is, and I'm probably, yeah, I'm just gonna waste those 30 rupees. However, not if I get it just right here, and then I get the next one as well. Oh, that's bullshit, and you know it. More bomb chews! Great reward. I, yeah, I, yeah, I guess you can say that there was a cock block. That's the cheese.
Yeah, good. Gonna win something that I don't need. This prize is based! Oh no, this is the one I need. Blocked again. <laughs> you don't have enough rupees. If you, um, I think you can get a bigger bomb bag there, too. So, I still have the mask in my inventory, so clearly I didn't deliver it to that dude. These are the three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That's how the inscription reads. Ye. It seems like you play it on the Triforce, maybe not. And that was a good performance, too. <laughs> I mean, that seems funny, but that's how the speedrunners play it. Pretty much exactly like that. Speedrunners don't play it. They don't do. Vinny, it's after midnight. You can do your wordle. I forgot to do my. Oh shit! I forgot to do other wordle. I got day before wordle. Link, isn't that? That legendary blade. The master sword. Keys to the door of time. 
You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. <laughs> They're gonna hire Ringo to play Ganondorf in the live-action Zelda movie. Link, wake up. Link, the chosen one. Don't zoom in on his face too much. Oh no, it's gonna crack. I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of Sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil fortresses. Uh, forces, sorry. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Link, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself! How does the stuff still fit? Uh, we made clothes for you. Look, Link, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title, Hero of Time, can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time, therefore your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you're old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yes, but remember, Though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in the sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains, and we must stop Dr. Wawi. <laughs> Sorry, chat member said that. It was good. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. And I, Raru, I am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, find the power of the other sages, and add their might to your own. I'm sure most people know this, but the town names in Zelda 2 are the sages' names. Like, Raru is just a town from Zelda 2. You receive the Light Medallion, Raru the Sage adds his power to yours. Yeah, there's no new Kasuto, or Kasuto. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Link, we're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? Looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Just, God. Seven years. The most vital seven years. That's... I mean, I guess one of the, the themes in the game, whether or not it's explicitly said out loud, is like, what is it like to lose your childhood? I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. 
when evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call to those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, and one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor, survivor of the Sheikah. That's like me saying, I am Ital, survivor of the Italian people. As I see you standing there holding the mystical master sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for you, or for the time of the awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko village. Do you understand, Link? You don't say much, do you, Link? To save the forest girl, you need another item. Head to Kakariko Village. Boy, Link, your voice got deep! <laughs> this is a fucking classic Link voice. Um, so can't use the boomerang. You can pretty much- you can use nut. You can use fire the this the fire can't use this you can't use this you can't do anything with the masks um you can use bombs rope lamp oil <clears throat> So yeah, Ganondorf kind of fucked things up. <clears throat> As you can see. It's been a uh, shitty seven years. But hey, we can use the Master Sword now. Um, Hyrule Town is just totally deserted and filled with re-deads. So some of the people we saw dancing might, in fact, be those dead people. Yeah, no, this was a- this was like a really fucking... mind-blowing- not even mind-blowing, really, but just a cool thing to see in a- in a game... when I was growing up. It legitimately kind of frightened me a bit. I felt like the overwhelming odds that Link had to face. At least there's those birds. They're still around. Is that a guard helmet? Yeah, some... Someone said I actually switched off the game the first time I saw this. I don't think I can get that. And that's the end of Link. That's the end of our story. This is the failed hero timeline. You see, Link saw a spider, got a little greedy, and jumped into the lava, and uh, that's the end of the tale. Uh, you know what? I will figure that out in a bit. Is there anything I can do here right now? No. Okay, there was a chat member that said I could get that. 
I no longer need that. Use the fucking boomerang. Hey, uh, chat friend. I don't know if you're gonna believe this, but take a look on the bottom right there. It's grayed out. Though, why can't Link, as an adult, use a damn boomerang? I mean, gameplay reasons, I understand. Anyway, the, uh, the soldier that used to live here became a prostitute. Sorry, a pimp. Oh, you are quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome, too. <laughs> Your name is Link, isn't it? Don't be surprised, I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Be See what I'm saying? He's not actually one, but he, you know, he's thinking about it. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for business like this. Oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts, called Poes, are spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyard. They hate the world. Young man, if you catch a Poe, I will pay a lot of money for it. This is a fun thing to watch. Because, like, how, you know, how could he keep them within cages? They're ethereal it, with trying to be held within the corporeal. They just escape. They can leave any time. These cages aren't magic. He's got to hit him with a stick every now and then. Also, probably the 3DS version added this. He likes a good drink. Those have always been there? Oh. Booze and ghosts. I almost feel like one thing that might have even improved this would have been, um... Like a Dark World type music. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the Overworld theme. I think it's great. But, Dark World in Link to the Past was so fucking good. But I kind of also like that the world itself isn't too changed. Like, it is. It definitely is all the areas you go to. But the overworld is still... I don't know. It's, just, it's still got its... Like, whimsical feel to it because of the music. I, that doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Do you want to buy this ghost? It's too sunny to be that different. Yeah, they would have to, like, change the whole, like, atmosphere. They'd have to, like, change the music, darken the sky, maybe have it rain more. If everything was dead and depressing, it would just be Ikena Valley from Majora's Mask. Yeah, and also, the, I guess you could argue that the magic is concentrated at Hyrule Castle. There's a whole different set of pose when you're an adult. Uh, sorry, uh, Sculptulas. <laughs> uh, 
Look at this guy. Ever since he's escaped from Castle Town, he's become even more timid. I tell you, I saw him. I saw the ghostly figure of Dampei, the gravekeeper, sinking into his grave. It looked like he was holding some kind of treasure. Dampy. Look, it's the Majora's Mask, dude. Long time ago, there was a man in this very village who had an eye they could... that they said could see the truth. Now, usually you have to train your mind's eye the most most strenuously to actually see the truth, but this fella, no, no, no. They say he had a different way of doing things. His house stood where the well is now. Forget what happened on that day seven years ago. <sighs> it's all that Ocarina kid's fault. The next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. What? You've got an Ocarina? What the heck? It reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, a mean kid came here and played a strange song. Messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. Wait a minute, you look like that kid all grown up. Oh no, a storm again. You played the ocarina again, didn't you? Ugh. Didn't I try to glitch up there when I did the randomizer? And it was, like, horrendously annoying. Dead end. Magic update, I have less than full magic. Magic update, I have full magic. The Gravekeeper's Diary is here. Do you want to read it? Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I will let you have my stretching, shrinking keepsake. I'm waiting for you, Dampy. No one lives here, so technically, if Link needed a place to live for a little while, he could just sleep on that nice wet bed. I just need someone to enter my grave. That's not weird. Stretching, sh shrinking treasure. Yeah, it's, that's not weird. It's it's Zelda. Normal. Which one is his grave? There we go. Uh, 
Uh, young man, are you fast on your feet? I may not look like it, but I am confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you dare. Dampy dies and becomes a speed demon. Okay, well, that might have already s soiled it. No. No, the soilage hasn't happened yet. Navi, please, why now? Why now, Navi? Oh! Big old fire hitboxes. Two. You were very quick to be able to keep up with me, young man. As a reward, I'm going to give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. Spring-loaded chain will pull you to any spot where it, where its hooks stick. Doesn't that sound cool? I'm sure it'll help you. I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. Be careful on your way back. I live here now? Like, I'm dead here now. Hey. Okay, Navi. What can we do? What can, we, what can I do for you? To, uh, go to the forest. Go to the forest! The secret place! Sometimes I forget. There were a lot more of those blocks in Master Quests. There are some pretty bizarre solutions. There would be like cows in dungeons. So many just like weird little moments that you had to be a lot more familiar with all the smaller mechanics of Ocarina of Time. And then you can make it through Master Quest all right, but I think it's cool. I mean, it's worth playing through if you're bored of this one, but I don't think it's better. I don't think, um, I don't think I prefer those puzzles. Dead end. Ten arrows. Hey, good to see you up here. I'll give you this as a memento. They are just giving heart pieces out. Like they're candy here in this town. Yeah, if I go back and, and win against Dampy in good time... Isn't that Tingle's dad in Majora? I, I, yeah, I can get a heart piece if I do that, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Damp Mule. Look at me, I'm on top of the world. It really bothers me to see every, anyone at a higher level than I am. I have to be on top. All right, that can be interpreted in a couple different ways, friend. Ah! 
best noise. That's a pretty good noise too, though, to be fair. The windmill draws water up from the depths of the well. Now the well's dried up, though. Hmm. I bred a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I, I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy, late risers out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to crow cuckoo, especially when I will never read that line like that again. Especially when it wakes up at a very heavy sleeper, wakes up a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You look like you're good. You! You look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg after the cuckoo hatches. Bring it back to me after a while and I'll check out its mood. Yes. I, I just, I read it as cuckoo and not cuckoo. Okay, I can't get that yet. Yeah, the funny Hotel Mario voice I have no problem with. It's just doing the... The cuckoo thing- oh, I did it again. Not as good. Well, some people survived. <laughs> we uh, violating our personal space. He must have something better to do, don't you agree, darling? <laughs> what an annoying person interrupting us like this. Don't you agree, my love? I say, Jesse. We haven't eaten in seven years. I thought Meowth was voiced by Gilbert Gottfried when I was young. I don't know, it just kind of sounded like him a little bit. Yeah, he, he, um, he voiced God. That was a nice cameo in Smiling Friends. Vinny, deliver the skull tokens. I have uh, not enough skull tokens. I need three skull tokens. They're not even called skull tokens. Wait, are they? Are they fucking called skull tokens? You're right, they are. I guess I kind of didn't want to believe that they were called Skull Tokens. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I'm I thought they were just called Skulltulas. But the actual living creature is the Skulltula. They drop a Skull Token. They're scungible. His uh, skull come off, right? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, Carl? What are you talking about, Carl? His skull come off. He was combing his hair. A little bit of his skull just get come off. Carl, what the fuck are you talking about, mate? What the bloody fuck are you talking about, Carl? 
I'm angry! I will end you, Carl! Steve, just uh, calm down a little bit. Hey, do you guys like video games? Do, do you like Skyward Sword video games? Wow, the HD upscale really, really gave us some detail here. I don't know what that looked like originally, but that's some... <laughs> Some good detail. Nice, uh, filthy fucking long johns. What are these things called? Stop that song, I remember. Elizabethan Collar. A Cravat? Double Ruff. Ruffles. A Cravat. Okay. Are you gonna go my way? It's like, can we have Jimi Hendrix back? <laughs> I do wonder sometimes what, what some of those musicians that, like, died legendarily, quote-unquote. Like, would they have still made music? Because Jimi Hendrix was making great music up until, I think his albums weren't as good at the end, but I think he was still making some good stuff. The Doors released L.A. Women. L.A. Woman before Jim died. And that's maybe one of their best albums. So sometimes I wonder, like... what In what dimension can I go to to find out what those songs are like? Vinny the Egg. Yeah. Well, Jimi Hendrix's, like, original band, The Experience, that's- that's the good shit. That's the real good shit. I wonder what his output would have been like in the 70s, though, because music changed so much, you know? It's like, what- what could he have done with heavier distortion and, like, you know, going up against Zeppelin? It might have been interesting. Hendrix was supposed to collaborate with Miles Davis. I will say this before I read this. It's weird because it's... Jimi Hendrix was releasing a new album every, like, three years. Like, Pac. After his death. I remember hearing, like, Forgotten Hendrix album. Every couple years, a new one would come out. I'm like, where are they getting this from? There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but... Don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? If you pay me 10 rupees, you can ride.
So, this is the horse from earlier in the game. Hey, young man, do I know you? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. You get one minute for ten rupees. Uh, I forget, what do I have to do here? Is there anything else? Just jump out. Um, I, I don't think I can. I think there, there has to be a... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you can't jump out yet. Jump the two fences to impress him. tried. God damn it. None of the other horses can clear the tall fence. Yeah, like, this- this horse is a jerk. Some of the, the finer details of this game escape me, as you can see very clearly. The, like the 3DS version just got like a weird bass boost. Getting better. How about a little race with me? One lap around the corral with that horse. Let's make a little wager. Say 50 rupees. Should I try to win this race? Or do I just escape now? I forget. Like, he, does he even give you anything? Oh, okay, win. Win and then he cheats you, right? Okay. I wasn't sure if I had to escape then. The great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation. Hey, you, how about another race if you win? That you can keep the horse! It's like I'm playing Mario Kart tournament all over again. Baby Park. Baby Park. Everyone vote Baby Park. Everyone vote Baby Park. Everyone vote Baby Park. What's up with that horse? Is that a bona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf, but I bet it on the race and lost. Shoot! <laughs> As promised, I will give you the horse. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. You can jump over Ingo for a special scene. Nice. 
Well, now, you know, Hyrule is faster to travel. Let's go visit my friends, the Kokiri. No, this is fine. Why is that fairy following you around? You're not one of us. I see. Oh, you didn't have any problems entering the forest, mister. Did the meanies out there bother you much? Before the great Deku tree died, you wouldn't see things like that around here. Since it's dangerous outside, I always stay inside my house, but I'm bored to death in here. Do you have to eat? Do they eat? What about Mido? Maybe Mido can start fighting. He's strong. Since the Great Deku Tree withered, many more meanies have been appearing in the forest. I'm scared. Where's Saria? Do you know Saria, mister? That's weird. Where has Mido gone during such an emergency? Oh, right, because Mido is a loser. An evil wind is blowing from the direction of the forest temple. Saria left saying, I have something to to do about it. I have to do something about it. The forest temple is located in the sacred forest meadow, the far side of the lost woods. broke their sign. It's like, remember when um, that lady told Picard you broke your little ships? Alright, fine. Cool uh, view. Sign fixed. sell shields, but not swords. They do good business around here. Hi, mister. You can't use a Deku shield. They're only for kids. So they don't know who... They don't know who Link is. They can't picture that this dude, Link, who was not actually a Kokiri, left seven years ago. And wow, here's this dude that looks like the exact proper age. They just... they Well, they don't leave their house as much. Because they never grow up, only the kids in Hook are too smart, huh? They assumed he died, I guess? Yeah. They don't know he's not a Kokiri. Oh shit, did I just spoil that for them? Now, wrong way! Who do you think you are? That Kokiri-like clothing won't fool me. I promised Sari I wouldn't let anybody through here. If you want to see her that bad, I'm gonna need some proof that you're really a friend of her. Something that could only have heard from her. Not that she would ever be friends with a grown-up like you. That 
Melody. Saria plays that song all the time. You, you do you know Saria? That song. Saria taught that song only to her friends. Oh, okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. You know what's super cool about Mido doing that? Is that there's already Moblins in there with Saria. So, like, what is he trying to do, exactly? There's wolves, there's moblins, there's scroblins. restock that treasure chest? The fuck? Are the mug dogs, you're not wrong. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Hey, Link almost swims to the beat of the song. Talk. One hit to the back. Dead. Moblins kind of suck. Just that first one. It's really the first one that's the biggest pain in the ass if you have no patience. <laughs> God damn it. It's the, the first one and the last one. There's, there's no links here. Oh, you can kind of see where the, the Nifkin would be.
rip. Maybe if Mido didn't keep out people that could help. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. Why are people saying Shrek? A thing doesn't change with time! Uh, a thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the Minuet of Forest. Here's a trivia question. What was Riker's fake wife's name in the episode from the holodeck where Riker had the fake wife? It was the Halloween store alien man, uh, alien child. Episode. It's Minuet. Link, I'll see you again. I love all these little songs. The dungeon songs for the warps. So this is one of my favorite temples. Not because I love the temple all that much. It's just I like the music and the, the vibe of this place a lot. Some of it's really cool. Like, I said this in a previous episode, but some of this place is amazing. And some of it I'm not really crazy about. But I'm not going to be able to do this tonight because it's, it's late. However, I can do the first puzzle. Luckily, when you save, you start at the beginning of a dungeon anyway, so this is perfect. Also, I'm sure everyone, or most people know this, but um, there's no keys. Like in other Zelda games, when you're a uh, child Link. Nice. Only as adult Link do dungeons start having keys in them. Okay, if you let it miss, then you can attack them immediately. Okay. And you get a kill. I'm pretty sure I saw a video on where they got some of these sounds from. It was like one of those things where you could purchase like a CD of just like a whole archive of sounds. And Nintendo, just a sample pack, a sample CD, a, s a sound library, right, right. And um, Nintendo got their hands on it, and they used some of that. Same for um, Metroid Prime. Not the same one, but... Oh, textures too, right? Yeah, they found there were some textures that they didn't actually make themselves, but they... They, like, um, had, like, a texture CD. A, te a texture library. Vinny, you should finish this session by visiting that 4K old guy. <laughs> okay. Not stolen, it's just like using the Unity Asset Store. Right, right, exactly, yeah, it's not stolen.
Like, they paid for it. Make a Scarecrow teleport just to meet that old dude. Um, so, what's the best way to get back there? I'm trying to think. Prelude? I don't have Prelude yet. I guess I have the song, so I can just save and quit. And then when I need to come back here, I can just play the song to get back here, so that's not too bad. Alright. We're gonna find out, for those that weren't here before, there's a crusty old man with crusty eyes that is now an animated emote in chat that actually crashed the game. All I did was walk up to him and look at his crusty eyes up close, and the fucking thing crashed. So now that emote has more power than it ever would have before. It has taken a life of its own. It is... I got sprunked by the lake old. Vinny, do you need to be young for, for him to be there? He shows up when you're an old, right? Now he's- he's even older. He's even older and crustier than ever before. I just realized that the hearts get replaced with half carrots. Hey, I remember the, the days when Citra worked like shit and had like such low compatibility. So this is anything is an improvement. And, in a case like this, getting a full-screen Ocarina of Time, I think, is worth a little crust. They kind of look like tacos, says a chat member. So yeah, the horse, t you know, uses tacos as fuel. So we'll, we'll go with that. You know, I kind of really... Well, here, let me- let me get this on the... Where's the- the bean UFO? You could use the Scarecrow to get up there. Walked at midnight. Moon moving fast. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a crash test. I saved. We are are ready to test. Let me get closer. <laughs> this is one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Uh
Yeah, maybe Child Link is the only way. Someone just said in chat, there's enough fat in a human body to make seven bars of soap. All right, Tyler Durden. Thanks for the information, pal. All right, so Krusty Eye Man is not crashing the game. I think it might be an Adult Link thing. It might have just been a really bizarre one-off crash. But, I mean, the good news is there were no other crashes. So as long as I keep saving the game, I'll feel like this is all right. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching the Ocarina of Time on the Vine Sauce channel. It was fun. I don't know when I will next play this live, or what will be pre-recorded, or what, but, um, you know, I'm gonna work my way through the game. Gonna be finishing Halo soon. I'm gonna, um, get some one-off material together. And I'm also going to be playing through, um... I'll, I'll do the Wordle on my own. More Pokémon. I have episode three where I do most of the third area in Arceus. And honestly, I think it was the best one yet. It was the most fun. So... Yeah, I'm gonna be working on those games. Mortal Sin and Risk of Rain VR. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be working on those games, and I'm gonna try to clear up as much as I can for when Elden Ring comes out. Because right around that time, there's gonna be a couple releases. So I'm gonna try to at least finish what I'm playing, and then focus on Elden Ring, focus on, um, what was the other one? Lego Star Wars. Kirby is a month after Elden Ring. And there was one more. What was- there was another game coming out around the same time as, uh, Elden Ring. Does anyone remember? It's happening again. Uh, uh, Forbidden West? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's Horizon. I haven't even played the first one, so... Advance Wars is coming out kinda soon. Um... There was one more thing. Oh, Shadow Warrior 3, maybe that'll be good, I don't know. And then, I think there was another... There's Risk of Rain DLC. As well. So, there's a lot of good stuff on the near horizon, and I'm sure horizon is going to be awesome too. But, I will go now. Hey, everybody. Uh, thank you for the continued support. I know I'm not really streaming a whole lot. I don't have a schedule, really. I just show up a couple days a week. More Skyrim too, by the way. But, uh, people still show up. People are still subscribed. I I appreciate it. I you know, I'm not really providing the same value I used to, but um thank you. Appreciate the help and the support. You don't have to. You can save it for someone else. Or any charity event. Speaking of, I will be doing a live charity event with Hootie, Gear and Zot. We're going to be doing doing more of that VR mini golf for the American Heart Association. And I think that'll be That'll be really good. That, I believe... I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up on that one. It's mini golf, so it's going to be fun. But if you haven't seen the first um, time we did that, we we raised a couple bucks for a good charity. I'm going to link in chat Gear's post about this. So we're going to raise awareness about heart disease. And... Um, It's f uh, February 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern. So it's not like a huge charity stream, 
but it, you know it'll be fun and we're gonna we're gonna be playing some some good stuff so stop by for that check the chat if you want more information or go to um twitter and look for gearomatic when do you think the mario kart tournament will be uploaded i'm going to try to edit down a little bit of it tomorrow and then maybe over the next couple days or within the week mario kart tournament footage will be uploaded okay now for real good night thank you everybody and be sure to uh, support your other local uh, streamers and creators and uh show them a little bit of love like jeff is live right now for example playing some good stuff take care until next time <laughs>